how y'all doing out there? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Now, there's a lot of people out there that are complaining about embedding. Okay, have you ever heard the word embedding? Uh, if you're watching this video and you don't know what I'm talking about, we're talking about YouTube videos, we're talking about uh, current.com uh, videos, we're talking about, uh, what's that other site? That other site's called uh, My Break. Okay, mybreak.com, they're probably the biggest ones uh, for taking your material and throwing it out on the internet, as you might say, to millions and millions of other sites. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are pissed off. There's a lot of people out there that make videos of hollering and screaming and cussing and I hate you and you hate me and, you know, this, that, and the other, but, uh, you know, there was a while back, about a year and a half ago, that uh, somebody actually was extracting my videos and making uh, video sets and selling them on eBay. That's a little bit different. So, when that happened, my friend Pete decided, you know, this is bullshit. Of course, I contacted eBay and went through all the channels and had that guy's uh, YouTube cha uh, eBay channel or eBay site closed down over it. But uh, I learned this, and that I'm going to show you, I learned this from eBay theirself, okay? Because if your material is not copyrighted, if you don't have watermarks that says copyright in them, if you are not branding yourself, okay, and I'm going to show you what that means in a minute, if you're not branding yourself uh, of who you are and to prove that this is yours and blah, 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 because these corporations out there, what they'll do is they want to take your video and they want to use your material so they can make money off it with AdSense. What is AdSense? AdSense is the little ads you see pop up around your videos, uh, this, that, and the other. Can you do anything about it? Not really. You really, really can't because the situation is, is once you give the Internet, we might say, your material, it becomes a free market to do whatever anybody else wants with it. But there is steps that you can take, and the steps that you can take will actually harm you. They'll actually harm you in viewership toward your material that you post on the Internet. Now, this is uh, anywhere, all right? And uh, let's go over to the, uh, let's just go to one of my YouTube channels here. Uh, let's say, for instance, SWRNC. Okay, if you look at uh, the web page on the screen right here, what you're going to see is you're going to see uh, up in the corner, of course, it says YouTube. And this is a YouTube, basic YouTube channel uh, website. This is a website that you create for free. Uh, you load your content down on their uh, uh, servers, their, their website servers, to show everybody in the world what you are doing okay because that's what YouTube's about YouTube is about prying into your business showing them your world and doing something for everybody in the world to see enjoy hate fuck off or love plain and simple but if you I'm sorry if you are that person that says this is my content and uh, I own this and uh, you know I don't want anybody else to do anything with it because I'm not making no money. Why should they make money? The only action that you can do, and we're going to use YouTube for instance, is you go up to your video manager. All right? Click on video manager. You come over to one of your videos. Uh, we're not going to do it. I'm just going to walk through it. 
come over to your videos. You can see that all your videos will be right here. There's two things that you can do. You can highlight this button right here, hit the action button, and go to delete. And you can completely delete your videos. We're not going to do that. Okay, we're going to take that off. But what we would do is uh, we can go to edit video. You hit the edit button. Once the edit button is edited and a new screen pops up, you can see that it comes up with all these little pictures. Those pictures are for custom thumbnails. You can you got three choices from YouTube, or you can come down here and put your own thumbnail in it. Uh, then you come down to your settings. You got your title, you got your description, you got your tag words. You can come over to the license and write license and rights ownership. You can hit that and you can put Creative Cop Commons attribution on it. All right? What that's going to do, that is one way to stop some of the uh, websites to literally take your material and put it on their sites, so that, but it's not going to stop everything. What you can do though, to stop it all is you can go to Advanced Settings and as you come over to this little icon right here where it's got a check mark in it, let me focus in on that. You can see where it says Embedding. If you do not want anybody to have your video, your material, your life, okay, on their website, uh, web page, their commercials, blah, 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 this, that, and the other, you want to uncheck Enable Bedding. We're not going to do that. We are going to go ahead and leave everything like it is. We'll go back to my channel. Yes, I do want to leave this page. And then, of course, there's my channel right there, and we're all back to normal. Now, there's two things I'd like to talk about about the embedding. Okay, first of all, if you uh, uncheck embedding rights, if you uncheck those, the views of your videos will go down. The reason why is because you are limiting the uh, you're limiting the viewership from seeing your videos. Uh, from these companies out here or these internet sites putting your videos on their display for people to see, that is actually helping you create views for your channel. Now that doesn't mean YouTube, that can be uh, break.com, that can be current.com, that can be uh, Vimeo or any of these YouTube type websites that are out there. Okay, there's a way that you can uh, block them from going to other websites. But do you really want to do that? Because what you're doing now is you're actually making uh, your YouTube channel, we're going to stick with YouTube, you're going to make your YouTube channel a smaller group, which means that less views are going to be able to see you. And what these people are actually doing, if you want to look at it the right way, they're advertising for you, for uh, all these other people to say, hey, I like this guy, or I like this girl, I, I like what they're doing, I am going to go find them, and I'm going to go to subscribe to them and watch more of them. Now, if you're not making any money off YouTube or Break.com or any of these other fucking websites, you know, that's a situation you got to take up with yourself. Should you get pissed off? Should you get mad? Should you get upset? No. Because there are ways that you can make money on them, and all you got to do is follow their instructions, and you can make money on them. If you choose not to do that, and you choose not to play, play the game their way, you will never make any money on them. So, from you, uh, you know, getting upset about them using your videos, I'm talking about the websites, all right, that's your fault because you're not taking the steps to protect yourself properly. And you're also not taking the steps to play the game right, I might say. First of all, we're dealing with a large corporation here. I am an individual one-person guy that lives in my world. Do you see what I'm doing here? Because my world spins around just like yours. And I don't have the backing and the lawyers and uh, the you know thousands of employees that it takes to run an operation like, let's say again, YouTube. Okay, we're not Google Corporation here. We're not Hughes, uh, uh, 
you know, Hughes Limited uh, Internet Access Corporation. We are one person doing something that we enjoy and showing people what we like in life, do in life. We're basically opening a book up and saying, come on in, basically. So, back to the story. Having these YouTubers, site uh, grabbers, you might call them, uh, extractors, take your video is actually a good option for you. What you need to do, what you need to do out there, Mr. YouTuber Maker Guy or uh, Vimeo or whatever, what you need to do, you need to go ahead and create in your mind, tell yourself in your mind, what can I do, since these people are using my videos, what can I do to promote my videos? The first thing that you need to do, the first thing you need to do is you need to market yourself. You need to brand. Let's use the word brand. Branding yourself so other people know you. Okay. When they see letters, I know that guy. When they see names, I know that guy. When they hear music, I know that guy. Let me give you a little example. All right, if you look at the screen right here, we got a video maker program. Uh, it really doesn't matter what kind it is. We don't give a shit what kind it is. Who really gives a crap? There are several ways you can make videos. You can make videos with your, uh, with your phone, for instance, which is just like this, okay? You can uh, turn your phone on. You can make videos with that. There's a lot of guys that do that. Uh, you can make videos with cameras, like I'm doing with my camera right here. Uh, you can make videos with basically anything that you can make a video with and upload it on the internet because the internet is full of technology that even you can take your phone and make a video, plug it in, and go for it. But uh, I take my time and I make my videos and I try to do high quality videos and one of the reasons is, is because of the word branding. I am branding myself. I am taking my time to do uh, a My Friend Pete professional quality video, not just for you to enjoy, but also to brand myself and to market myself so when these other people extract videos from the YouTube sites that I use and the other internet accessibility video uh, places you know, on the World Wide Web, they will see who I am, where I am, and what I am. And let's get a little example here. Now, I just made, I just made this little clip. I want to show you that. This is actually a video that I made. Let's go to the video. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, let's start with this video. As I'm making the video, of course, I have a disclaimer at the front of the video. You can see that over in the screen over there. So we'll run through that. If you want to read it, you know, go to DIY Auto School and check it out. So we got our disclaimer. Then right after the disclaimer, I have a title. Okay, I have a title that I use all the time in every one of my videos. It's the same beginning title, which starts out and says, Now I want you to watch real close when it gets to the end of the red lettering there. As you can see in the video, all right, as you can see, I also put a watermark of a copyright. So it will say copyright 2012. That's when I made the video in the year 2012. And then I space and I also put www.swrnc.com and then I put trademark after it. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? I do that so everybody knows that my friend Pete and many of the body shop girl made this video and I also do that so I can attract people to my website okay for a little bit of advertising to say okay let me check this guy out I'm curious so there's one way uh, at the end of the video if we go all the way to the end we flip through the video and throughout the video uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and here's a here's a little section right here if we look at uh, this I'm gonna zoom back in if we look right here, you can see that the copyright came up again. Uh, I don't put copyrights all the way through the video due to the fact that it's, uh, it's irritating and 
it's annoying to see that down there. So what I do, I randomly set them in there. Uh, can people take that copyright out? No. Okay, they cannot extract that out of there and keep it for the video. Uh, it would be very, very hard and excruciating just for a fucking YouTube video to go inside there and take the copyrights out. Especially when you change the colors on them and this, that, and the other. We go to the end of the video and we see that uh, we go to the end of the video after the title and we also see here's another uh, here's another little example of branding yourself all right we got the my friend Pete that pops up uh, there it is again then we go straight into the ending and that explains again where you're at what you're doing and what your videos are about and uh, here's another little example. I just made this little video clip here, and I will use it at the end of videos if we get to it right here. Okay, so that's the ending that you know that we're going to use on that one. But uh, I want to show you some other. Now, here's some music that I use when I use music. Okay, and I'm sure a lot of people out there will be familiar with this that knows. SWRNC, Southwest Rod and Custom, DIY Auto School. And uh, let's turn the volume up a little. Okay, I use that music in every single SWRNC video made. That is my title music. That is my branding music. That is the music that I use. Here's another clip of music. I use that type of music in every single video that I make. It's for uh, insert video, insert uh, title music. All right. So then we go down, and uh, here is a video clip that uh, is very familiar. If you look at that right there. That is my YouTube branding, my friend Pete, uh, SWRNC title. It's the same title, the same situation over and over again. Some people get tired of seeing it, but when you do see that, you know that my friend Pete is here. So we're going to go ahead and get on the web, and what I'm going to do is I am going to zoom out. So as we get on the web, we're going to put in SWRNC. And we're going to go to Images. As we go to images, you can see that the whole page, not just randomly, but the whole page is just full of SWRNC stuff. And not just one page, all right, and we're still going here as you can see. This is all SWRNC stuff, Southwest Rod and Custom. Now we're starting to uh, filter out. We're getting down to the bottom of this, and now you're starting to randomly see stuff. And it just keeps on going on and on. And, okay, here's a good example. This picture that I'm going to pull up right here, this is not from YouTube. Okay, this little picture right here is from a site. You can see right here, uh, there's SWRNC. All right, there's, a, there's something that I wrote on there, blah, blah, blah. This is actually from, let me show you, Current. So that's a picture in one of my videos that I made for Current.com. And... There you go. That's uh, another site that I have out there that I make videos on. But uh, yeah, you know, we can go on and on and on. And then, of course, you know, here's pictures of my website and, uh, you know, just everywhere. So now let's go ahead and we will put in, if I can get to the very top, we're going to put in SWRNC Pete. And if you notice, before I even do that, okay, if you notice, you can see all these suggestions that come up right here. All right, and they keep going on and on and on. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and put SWRNC Pete in. And there you go again. And it just keeps coming up and up and up. And hundreds and thousands of pictures will come up. If you click on one of these pictures right here, for instance, let's say, all right, there's a picture that says subscribe YouTube.com. Uh, the Cheese, all right, the Cheese is a guy that was out here. We made a video of him, and there he is. 
But it goes to this website. Who gives a shit? You see what I'm saying? McSlappy Presents. That's a website of Da Cheese. Now, Da Cheese is a guy that was out here. We made a video of him, and I advertised a video for him to drag people to his YouTube channel. So, am I upset and am I mad? I don't make a nickel, a fucking dime, a penny on SWRNC. I don't really give a shit about it. Okay, but am I mad? Am I upset because all these thousands and millions of uh, extracting websites are taking my video footage and showing it to the world? Why the fuck would I be pissed off? Aren't you putting videos on the internet so people can watch them? It's ridiculous. What these people are doing for you is they are advertising for you for free. They are marketing you. They are branding you. Am I making sense now? So, I have showed you ways that you can protect yourself if you want to Take your time and not be a lazy ass and edit your videos. Or, I've showed you ways to load the phone up. Okay, take a picture of the video with your phone and load it up. You can take, you can take videos with your camera and just load them up. The only way that you're going to feel comfortable and you think that these people are making trillions of dollars off you is to basically go through the steps that I go through and brand yourself. Branding yourself... And them taking your videos or your content and throwing them out on the internet is only helping you out. So other people will watch your videos and watch your channel. This is Pete, my friend Pete. If I didn't make any sense here, then you weren't paying attention anyway. If I did make sense, I hope I made your day a happier day and a much stronger day to go out into the world and say, I'm me, I'm branded, and nobody else can do what I do. I walk my own walk, I talk my own talk, and I am a human being, I am a person in the world that is free. Thank you, have a great fucking day. I gotta go to work after I finish making this video, and uh, hopefully someone will snag it up, grab it, and throw it out on the internet, so millions of other people will watch it and be attracted to my YouTube channel.